The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at the wheat market. This is May wheat, and as you can see, we had this bottom down in here. We bought some on a pullback. It rallied up today a little bit, but frankly, folks, I think we're going to have a pretty good chance to get this wheat at a little bit lower price, hopefully down in this area here, down about 17 cents, down around 5.30. I'm waiting for that. The reason why I say, say that is we made the ABCD pattern here for these last couple of days, yesterday and here today. The problem the problem is, folks, it didn't go very much. You can see the last one that we had, you know, would have gone that far that missed it by about oh, 12 cents. So my assumption is we're still going to pull back. If we look at this on the smaller time frame, you'll see this is where we were today. You'll see where we came up to why I'm showing you you're going to have, probably have a good chance. Remember, this is the last three weeks. This is a bear market. So what do you look for? You look for a 382 retracement. And that came in here at uh, 51. It went as high as 55, now it's trading at 46. That's why I'm assuming it's going to come down one more time down into this area. What we're watching is a potential for the market to come to this level right in here. And then what we would like to do, and of course we don't always get that, uh, get that choice, is to wait for our, one of our little favorite patterns that we see occasionally. And if we saw something like this, this would make us very happy especially if it took three or four days to do that, folks. That would really be a beautiful one because you'd have the ABCD pattern and this one right here. I know hopefully it's not a very good word for uh, trading, but by golly, that's what we're watching here today uh, in the wheat market. All right, now let's move on to the gold market. We said the gold was going to go down. It had a very strong probability of going down and is in fact has gone down quite a bit. It got down as low as 2160. There, there's where we were. Well, let's just look at the weekly because that's what got the whole thing started. There was your ABCD right up here, and we've gone from 03 down to 60. So we've dropped uh, 43. Oh, well, it's exactly $43. So uh, we should get a little bit of a bounce in here, and we're starting to get a little bit of a bounce. Just look at this on the smaller time frame. This is this is one I miss, folks. I, I, as you know, I've been pretty bearish just gold these last few days, and we had this break right here. Then we had the move come up, and I said, I wonder if that's going to be a 61% retracement, and uh, it misses it by uh, 80 cents, and I missed the whole thing. And then the market has a comes down. Well, wow, it went below 60. I didn't see that. It went to 58 uh, and a quarter. Then we had this nice little rally here over the last few hours. The next question you want to ask is, is that rally a 382? Well, you'd first would be looking at this one, and you'll see that it's just a little bit above the 382 on this one. It goes to the almost to the – well, it does. It goes right to the 50 percent level. But the high back here at 203, that should count also. And I can just tell by eyeballing it that it doesn't make the 382. But let me explain something that I think is something worthy of you is to watch that. 382 today or tomorrow because that could be a really nice one right in here that would be the 382 coming in from this high right up here that 203 remember that's the weekly ABCD there's your ABCD right here and if you blow this up just a little bit if you blow this up a little bit and take it from the last high we'll just take it from this high you'll see the ABCD will come in here probably at 61 percent retracement and where else would it be 32. We're only $8 away, folks. So that's where the game plan would be. You sell it here, put your stop up in here, about 8 bucks, and that's what you'd be watching. If you like this type of uh, analysis during the day, TFNN is going to be uh, offering something pretty uh, interesting here. I've, it's all been pretty much solidified, but I'm going to do uh, one hour, uh, three hours a month. Instead of doing three, uh, three or four hours every six months or, uh, or so, 
Uh, we've had a lot of requests to do it for every month. It's going to be a, we're going to be trading live for three hours from, uh, I believe it'll be from nine o'clock in the morning till about noon, New York time. That's right in the middle of the heat of the battle, which we like to have. Your whole thing is if we make money at it, resubscribe. If we don't, don't resubscribe. That's pretty much it. Because if you can't make any money off of it, it isn't worth paying for. And I shouldn't be charging for it. Neither should TFNN. So that's what we're planning on doing. And it, it should come out sometime in early April would be my guess. But I'm looking forward to it. I can do uh, three hours a week without uh, too much trouble at all because I love the live trading part. And we have the feedback coming in from students and stuff. And that makes it, you know, really, really a lot of fun to do. So that's something coming forward. All right. Let's move on to a couple of things that people have asked me about that we haven't seen of. We've talked about it, but I haven't put any orders in mainly because I'm, I have so many other things going on with uh, crude oil and soybeans and all these other things. I haven't had a chance to focus on the euro, but I want to bring this euro up here uh, right now. We'll get up here to see it because we just made that uh, three eight, excuse me, 61% retracement again. We'll move this over. See it here is where we were. There it is right there, folks. Uh, let's do this correctly. This is 30 minutes. Let's do the daily first because the daily showed you there's where you were. There was your 61% retracement. Then you broke down. And then today, looking at it today, if you like the old 382, shut the front door and raise her in. I missed this one too. Doggone it. There you go. From your high down to your low, how do you do? Mr. 382 it goes just a tiny bit above it. It just about makes a perfect uh, A, B, C, D. Let's measure that. There's A, B, C, D, and ooh, it misses that by just a few pips. But there's your 382, and you can see it's dropped. Uh, that's all dropped $300 from that level right now. And just looking at it on a short-term basis, you'll see that here again, that 382 was telling you this market still had a bearish connotation to the downside. As long as it doesn't get above that 618, it still has a really good probability to move uh, to the downside. Okay, now let me uh, try to get another chart up here that I want to see. Hold on one second. Uh, I'll do that at the break. Someone asked me to do something as a uh, as a consultation, and I, I well, never mind. That doesn't make it. I'll show you what we did uh, in just a second here, and uh, after we take this next break. But we wanted to look at Apple because I've had three emails about Apple. Evidently, a bunch of people have bought that down there at that 170 level, and it still looks good. Let's just get this up here. Here's the daily. I haven't seen it yet today, but you don't want that getting below um, this one right here, below this 170, 169 level. See, this is a little bit of a bounce, and boy, that's not much of a bounce. Looking at this on a shorter-term basis, you see all we did today is we went right up to that same level. The rally back only got to this level, so we really need Apple to get moving to the upside uh, that's one thing that we want to look at. Also, when we come back from this next break, which will be coming in a very short period of time, uh, 50 seconds, I can do this right now. We talked about the stock of ADM yesterday, and some news came out on ADM, believe it or not, and it's had a pretty big move. Remember, we were talking about this level being the exact 1.618, and look what's happened. You got up to this level. Now, let's look at it a little bit closer. Move this over. Let's try this pattern out for size, boys and girls. Are you ready? 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, back to ADM, folks. Back on the 25th of uh, January, market made a low at 50. It rallied up to B point, which is 56, down to the C point, which was 52. The ABCD measures to 58.41. The high so far on the day has been 58.46. Uh, that missed it by nickel, so I apologize for that one not working, but we had a little gap here. That might have been the difference why it went up a little bit higher than that. I, I show you these patterns. I don't show you the ones that lose because we would be on the show for probably 36 hours a day because there are a bunch of losers in here. I'm being a little facetious there, but you're going to be right probably two out of three times. Show me a golfer that wins two-thirds of the golf car, golf thing. Show me a baseball player that bats 660. Show me a, show me a bowler that uh, averages uh, 288 or out of a 300 series. So that this doesn't happen. you got to focus on the losers, folks. And believe me, there are a lot of those. you just got to <sighs> – I'll tell you when you let me let me just show you today how frustrating I was. I did this because I was going to bring it on the air. Here's where we were this morning. We had this early morning where the market sold off here in the Dow Jones. It went up to this level right here. Then it made up. Remember, this is an eight minute chart, so this took a little over an hour to do. You can see from eight to about well, two hours. It makes this beautiful A B C D pattern right here. And that's at 31.75, and it immediately rallies 300 points. Now, it's given up a couple hundred of that back, but that was just an absolute perfect trade. And I wanted to show you that I was sitting here thinking because of this really big bar down that we were going to go down a long way. So I was bake making my um, uh, breakfast, which was a little oatmeal with raisins. And by golly, by the time I got here, we were there and I missed the whole thing and the way it went to the upside. So when you're trading shorter term and you're looking at an eight minute charts, remember eight minutes is going to be every three of these is going to be a half hour and six of them is going to be an hour. So you're going to be right on the ballpark of these. So 
Uh, that's what you have to focus on. Now, if you're trading on eight-minute chart, stick with the eight-minute chart. Don't go looking at the daily. That's silly to do that. Okay, let's move on. We have another question here. Hold on, and that is about Tesla. We'll get this up for just a second here. And uh, one second here. Uh, all right, Tesla starts with a T, doesn't it? There's where we go. That's when I don't do stocks. And then what I'll do is I'll go through what the uh, – well, see, Tesla's coming back down again, folks. Boy, it just doesn't have any friends. It's it made a new low on today. Yep, we made a new lower than yesterday, so it better hold this level or it's going to be in big trouble. Looking at this intraday, just quickly for – see, because we did make – yeah, we made a slightly lower low. But it's important we hold that low because if that one doesn't hold, remember, this is a $170 stock, so it jumps around quite a bit. All we've done so far is to go up and make a 61% retracement of the range of yesterday. You'll see there it is right there. You think these guys that do this programming and stuff or MIT and all these financial engineers don't know these numbers? Well, they must because they stop right near those numbers a great deal of time. Now, let's get on to what I – this is part of what I do for uh, friends and relatives and whoever wants to get involved for consultations and stuff. Let me come up here and get up here with Bitcoin. First of all, I'm not talking about Bitcoin here because I want to focus on something else. Let me blow this up. This is TradeStation, and I just wanted to show you I had a um, – oh, dear, I still hope it's in here. Please tell me it's still here. Oh, if it's not, I'm going to be sad. Ah, uh, shucks. You know it's not here. Doc on it. I wanted to show you the Swedish kroner versus the British pound. The gentleman has a lot of money in um, Swedish krona, and uh, he wants to, you know, make – oh, gee, I'm, I've really screwed this up. I'll tell you, I want to mess this up right now because I'm not really familiar about Forex and, and the uh, stuff for uh, – uh, that's crypto, the futures – well, son of a gun, I, I'm, I'm stumbling here, and I don't like to do that. And here's here's a good lesson here for, for short-term trading. You see the little three drive to a top pattern here? Look at this. You take this top out by just a heartbeat, and boom, bang, 382, and down you go. So it's had about a $7,000 move. We went from 73 down to 68. That's a that's $5,000 move, but that's nothing. This one was 5002 So what we're doing now with Bitcoin is we're setting right at, it looks close to the 78% level, which would be coming in. Let's just move this over if we could all see it. That would be coming in here at 68.50, and we're trading at 68 and change, 69 and change right now. So that's pretty much it. During the break, what I'll try to do is to bring that uh, – Ah, oh, shucks. Let me see if that last does it. No, that doesn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, I had this in here. I spent a lot of time. I don't know why I didn't save it. Well, that's not my fault. Well, yes, it is. Let's move on to the next one here, get back to some of these other ones that people are asking me about. That's Tesla. We had one other stock to cover, and that we've already do done ABM, and I want to do uh, Taiwan Semiconductor, because that's been a rocking and roller for quite a while. Here's where we are so far with Taiwan Semiconductor. Very important day today for one reason only. Guess what this is, boys and girls? We're going to go down to a half-hour chart here for Taiwan Semiconductor and a nickel to a dime. Guess what this is, boys and girls? Holy moly, guacamole, please let me trade stocks today. There's your ABCD, and there's your 382 right on the money, honey. To the tick, 146, now trading at 143.60. So this should be bearish. Whether that has anything to do with anything else, that's the question that the person asked me. And just looking at this, I mean, it was supposed to be really strong today. Yeah, it's a, it's above yesterday a little bit, but it's it's almost down on the day now. So that's not a good sign. So, in fact, it hit that exact 382 is a very important spot. All right. Now, when we come back, we've got another break coming up here in two minutes. And, uh, oh, I had one other one. That was just a minute. Someone asked me about Goldman Sachs. Give me a second here, and I can get Goldman Sachs up here. Oh, I wanted to do GDX, too. Darn God. Look at these. Here's Goldman Sachs over the last uh, few days. It's been staying up in the air. Uh, we were a little bit higher. Oh, it's did the same thing. It's made a 382 retracement on Goldman Sachs today, too. 
six to a nickel. Let's see what it is. There's the ABCD to the downside from yesterday. The rally today went to the high. There's where we are, up and down, over and out. Oh, I'm wrong. It went a little above it here. That came in at uh, 387 and a half, and the high was uh, 388, so it missed about a buck. But now it's starting to move to the downside. So that's it. When we get back, I want to go over GDX because that's the one that I've been watching along with the gold. One of the reasons why I was so bearish on the gold market was the fact that uh, this GDX couldn't do anything. It couldn't get out of its way. And so look what it did. All it went up to the 61% retracement. Yesterday, uh, we, we popped above it by just a little bit. Okay. That was a... Uh, and then boom, look back, we're down again. So this is not, why aren't the gold miners, with gold way up here in the stratosphere, why aren't the gold miners going up? I wish Tom, Tom O'Brien would tell me that because usually when the pattern, or when the products are there, the, the other stuff tags along with us, but this is not what's happening. Let's take a little break. Pray that we get old Peter Elides on the line here, folks. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I've been asked to take a look at the Russell. Uh, it's the second most popular of a, a, by, based on open interest, of course. The first is the S&P 500. Second is Russell. Third is the NASDAQ. And fourth is the Dow Jones based on open interest. But if you like ABCD patterns, they're there. This is Remember, this is just a four-minute chart. So there's your first ABCD pattern coming in right there. And then you have another ABCD pattern coming in right up here. Okay, and uh, straight down now. So the question you want to ask is, where is going to be the first retracement? So you'd watch, and since it's bearish, okay, your opening's way back here, so you'll be trading in the direction of the open. Look for a 382 retracement. We almost got here uh, just a few minutes ago, and we still might make that, but that would be a place to be looking at it. You don't have an ABCD, but that's that's a you know, process of you know elimination because you can't trade all of them. You got to find the one or two that like to trade. This is very good. It's five dollars a point, I believe, and I I think I've only traded it three or four times in my whole life, uh, mainly because I was in I started trading the S and P back on August the sixteenth of two thousand and uh oh let's try that again, Larry, nineteen eighty two. 1982, August 16th. That was right before, the day before J.P. Morgan's and also Arch Crawford's birthday. All right, that's what we're looking at with the Russell. If you'll remember on the long-term daily now, this is, a, this is the actual June, so you won't see all the data. But this picture right here, go look at your, your trade, what you see newsletter, that high right there, that 2142 was the exact 61% retracement on the long-term weekly. We can show that, Larry. Shut the front door and raise their end. It's just right here. You go right here, hit your weekly chart, bada-bing, bada-boom, and there you're going to see it right there. And there's where it was, right there, right on the money. Can't see it exactly. but See, it says 239. Oh, you know why? Because they rolled over the option, but it hit it right on the money. And now it's starting to back off just slightly, but... You know, just backing off. Okay, now we had a question about the British pound. I wanted to show you this British pound uh, co contract because this was the question that the gentleman asked me. We'll get the weekly chart up here. Now, what he's been going on now is he's been in the uh, been long the British pound, short the uh, sweet the Swedish krona, and um, now if you looked at the Swedish krona, which I don't have, but what I will have tomorrow. And our guest tomorrow will be Bob Moyner. I will have that Swedish kroner, and I will walk through what he paid me a nice, a substantial uh, piece of money for. And I donated it to the charity, which uh, I know they will like it. But I want to show you the thought behind moving. It wasn't a lot of money. I mean, you know, it was six figures. But anyway, I wanted to show you the reasoning behind it. If you looked at the Swiss uh, Swedish krona versus the British pound on the weekly basis, Paul, you're looking at a really bullish chart for the Swedish, for the Swedish krona, really bullish. And I said, do you need the money? He said, no, I don't need the money. I said, leave it there. I said, if you could go long, I said, you're basically in a risk-free situation now, and you should get a good return. It's near lows of the last six years. They've been in tremendous recession over there, and that's what the pattern looks like. I've never traded it. I've been to Sweden many times, but frankly, I'll show that chart tomorrow, and you'll you'll see what I mean by that. Part of my part of my history of you know being in this business, I did expert witnessing with uh, Eddie Horowitz from 1986 through uh, 1988, and well, 86, all of 86 and 87, and early 88 was my last case, and I did 33 cases over those two years. I only lost one. <laughs> that was the one I absolutely didn't think I could possibly lose. There was not much of a judgment, but uh, I thought for sure I would have won that one. But that basically, the judge said, look, this guy, has, he's got uh, everything he's done in his life is risky. He understands risk. He deserved to lose the money. It was a case against Dean Witter. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, the reason why I bring this up is when people have large amounts of money and they lose large amounts of money, the first thing they want to do is they go in and sue somebody. 
So they hire an attorney that does financial law plus someone that understands an expert witness like myself that Eddie taught me how to do this. You go back and reconstruct the trades and why they did certain things and why they didn't do certain things. And it's really amazing the stuff that you've uh, learned uh, over the years. I had a few a few famous uh, clients, but uh, you know it was uh, it was fun going to. I've been in federal court, uh, at just about every court you can get into, but I've been through all of them, and uh, I stopped it because I got really involved with astral cycles and trading. Uh, again, after the divorce, and uh, glad I did because it was high stress, but uh, it was fun. I, I really, I really did enjoy it, and I lost Eddie last year. Uh, he finally passed away at the age of uh, 84, and uh, still his mind was active as ever, and uh, really miss him a great deal. His birthday will be coming up here on the 1st of April, which I'll have to celebrate. Anyway, let's move on here to – oh, we've got someone in the room. Hold on a second here. I think – I see, I don't see the, the pest messages, but let me turn this off. Peter, I'm on the line, buddy. I, I'm sorry, pal. Just give me a second. I'll get this out of the way. Okay, Peter, fire away, buddy. I'm here. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. The trouble is when I'm doing this and, I, and I'm going through, elect, you know, talking about whatever. I was talking about Eddie, as a matter of fact, about doing the expert witnessing. I know. Witnessing. I heard everything you said. I would have brought <laughs> yeah. back memories. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> anyway, that's what I was doing, but I can't see. Please tell us what you've got here for us, folks, because uh, Peter is kind enough to show us the stuff that, uh, that he does, and it's, it's really quite good. So show us what you're looking at, Peter. Well, you had asked me in an email, Larry, yes. about wheat, but, and I yes, haven't sir. looked at wheat in a long time, but I did look at that. I sent you a couple of charts, but if you don't have them available to show, I can show them on my screen. Which, yeah, please, that, yes, please, is, please do. Yeah, show them right on Skype, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Probably what we're going to come up with, though, <clears> we're going to have a break here in just a few seconds, I believe. And then we'll uh, let's just see what the uh, what the break situation. Just keep talking, Peter, because sometimes I miss these times by a lot. We got a minute and thirty seconds in this segment, so keep going. Okay, so I'm bringing it up right now. This is wheat, and what I'm going to show you is <clears throat> I don't have the offset on there that I want. Uh, first of all, I want to do this thirty-nine to forty week, which has been, I believe, met. No, we're close to it. So this red area down in the bottom right here is the target for wheat. Now, when I when I say wheat, I <clears throat> Trade Station doesn't give me the quotes for the wheat future itself. But so what I have up here is W E A T, which is the ETF for wheat. Sure. I don't know how I don't know how well the prices correspond to Very actual high. wheat prices. They, they okay, correlate good. high. Yes, they do. <clears throat> okay, good. So here's the downside projection. Now, there are two ways to look at these projections, Larry. This is okay. a linear projection. But Peter, because... Peter, that we have to pay bills now, so give us two minutes. We'll be back with Peter Lighties, folks. Stay with us, please. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leverage and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. And Peter, that is the chart. I remember this from a long time ago, and you were saying wheat was going to go under $5. It's got a chance, doesn't it? Because it's been to 508. <laughs> Yeah, actually, what I what I wanted to point out is a couple of things here, Larry. Uh, <clears throat> where the prices cross below this offset, which is a 39 to 40 week offset for what I call nominal 78 to 80 week projections, there are two ways to do this calculation. You can do them on a percentage basis. Where do the prices cross below the offset? What percentage decline was that? You add the equivalent percentage. on. That's what this particular chart is. This is a logarithmic chart that does logarithmic percentages. But here's, <clears throat> and I think probably the more accurate one, the numbers given here are 444 to 595. But <clears throat> all that is telling us is you stand a good chance of getting a rally from here. But what has happened in the meantime, Larry, let me go out to the longer offset. This is a 100-week offset, and it gives a nominal four-year projection. Uh, I didn't prepare this night, but I should have done. There's a little Nick filter here. Let me put that in quickly. <clears throat> Change this picture. Okay, this is now the projection that is in line for wheat. And it's a nominal four-year projection, so it doesn't mean you go down there immediately, but this is the ultimate downside goal for wheat. It's as low as 258 to 443. Um, and so it's interesting, isn't it? This is a, this is yeah. a, a very bearish chart, and what, what does that say about inflation? Yeah. Peter, you showed me this chart when wheat was trading at $12 a bushel. Do you remember that? And you thought I was crazy, right? No, no Peter, I've known <laughs> you for 60 years. I know you're not crazy. Maybe a little eccentric, but not crazy. <laughs> now, that's uh, you're spot on. I think we're getting, I, I, for, you know, I'm just looking at nearby May wheat, and we're really close to a pattern that I think is you know, certainly tradable. But uh, I remember this, and I was glad you were able to pull it up because. Uh, I had several people ask me about it. That's why I said, well, I know I remember him telling us that, so I'm glad you were able to pull it up. But, uh, folks, he does this work on a lot of different things, and I've seen it over a lot of years. And, boy, 
He's pretty accurate. You've done a great job, Peter. I mean, just to be short this stuff, do you realize how many people it was limit up when it was $13 a bushel, and now they can't give it away at $5 a bushel? It's amazing, I isn't know. it? That's yeah. how you and I know that's how market works, Larry. Psychology yeah. is yeah. a determining factor. Yeah, amen. <clears throat> Except for the stock market. You just buy that and hold on. What's your feeling yeah, on the market here, Peter? Um, I have been bearish for the last 34 years. <laughs> oh, you true. have not. Know, that's not true. I know. I know, I know <laughs> I'm labeled as a, as a perma bear. And uh, I got big time downside projections a little over a year ago, Larry. And, and the, the market has rallied against those big time downsides. So we're, we're still in a position where almost all of my material is bearish here. But I'm waiting to see what the projections tell me. And I, we, we, we met some upside projections. And, and I could say a week or two ago that we had met all upside projections on a minimal basis. Now, when that happens, as soon as you have a decline, you set yourself up for what I call loop projections. They're usually tail and short term uh, cycles that provide a little maybe last minute ditch to the upside after all major upside prices have been reached. And I think that's the only thing that's left to the upside here is these little uh, what I call loop projections. Uh, I We had one of those in the last week or two. We came exactly up to it. And I did one of my few recommendations that I ever do for my subscribers. And we actually picked virtually the exact top in the S&P and the NDX. But now that we've come down a little bit from those highs, um, the market appears to be attempting to rally here again. And I've got to watch it for the possibility of another loop projection to the upside here. I see the same thing. I was really surprised on Tuesday or Monday when we made that slightly lower low and then rallied uh, substantially. But, guys, I'll tell you, the, the amount of news that comes out is just uh, is just truly amazing. Now, I have one other question that the folks have asked about, and I don't know if you follow cryptocurrency, but do you have an opinion on Bitcoin, Peter? <laughs> I'm I'm laughing a lot when you say that because I'm going to show you. I laugh you at a, myself a lot, too. <laughs> you, you can still see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that I gave you that uh, quick lesson on the difference between logarithmic projections and, and uh, linear projections. This is a logarithmic projection on Bitcoin. And I looked wow. at it and I said, no, that's not possible. 105,427 to 143,512. Wow. Now, let me temper that a little bit because I just told you what the difference was between logarithmic and linear projections. This is a log projection, but if I go to the linear projections, watch this. We're in the projection window right now. Wow. So... Let me say honestly that because of the difference between the low and the high projected, I believe the log projections at these levels are more accurate, but I don't neglect what I see here in this linear projection either. The fact that we've come right up into this projection window. Peter, between the two of us, we have over 100 years experience, and I've I respect you because you're a little couple years older than me, and I learned a lot from you. But I have never seen anything like this. It's bigger than the dot com bubble. It's bigger than anything I've ever seen or studied, even even the tulip bulb mania. Uh, to see what this thing has done from going to about a hundred dollars or ten cents, whatever it was, to uh, what seventy two thousand five hundred today. Yeah. I mean, I, I've never Just... seen anything like this, and the craze that's in the internet about it. I mean, my goodness, you hear these young kids, you know, I don't know whether I'm going to buy two Ferraris and one Lamborghini or two Lamborghinis and one Ferrari. And I'm saying, save your money, you won't be able to have gas money in a few months. But you know, let, <laughs> let, it's pretty let, hard let to ask, trade it. <laughs> let, let me ask you a question, Larry, is there any intrinsic value in Bitcoin? Peter, I don't know what a Bitcoin is. All I know is you can't put it on your desk. You can't put it in your pocket. You can't put it in a vault. It's numbers and zeros and X's and O's. And whenever I see that, boy, that is 
And then you hear these exchanges that close down for four or five hours or two days and don't allow the people to. And then when they do sell stuff, they have to pay tremendous commissions. To me, it's the biggest. It's bigger than the bigger, bigger than the tulip bulb. But maybe it's okay. I, I you know, I, I'm not making any money off of it, so I don't really care. Yeah, I guess we're just too old, Larry. I don't know. No, you're no, still, no, you're no, still no, a young, no, you're still no. a young kid, anyway. Yeah, you got me by two years. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you know the problem, Peter, is we've lost so many friends. Oh my dear God! I mean, I look at these I guys, know. and I, I just lucky we've lasted this long. But this business keeps me alive, so that's why I do it. And I've certainly had a yeah. blessing of uh, good health and meeting a lot of great people. But but we had a lot of fun back in the old days, that's for sure. Remember, Absolutely. we didn't have we didn't have quotes. All we had was a bunker rainbow board. Remember that we we didn't have quotes coming in like these folks do. I used to hey, do that. I used to do Channel 22, and I heard click, I, click, I, click, 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 clicks behind my back. You know. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Thanks for joining us, Peter. We'll have you on again soon if you can, okay? Always fun to talk to you, Larry. Thanks. You bet. Peter Lydes, folks. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. Hold on. I want to get to the uh, crude oil chart here and try to give a little analysis of that. Certainly want to thank Peter for being in the program today. And hold on, guys, we met each other. It was 1966. I met he, Larry Williams, Jim Twentyman, 
uh, all and Eddie Horowitz all in the same time frame that spring of 66 there in uh, the Clayton brokerage office in West LA. Notice here for the past 10 days that crude oil has made a very substantial move to the downside. We've had lower tops in here. There's your first one. Now we've had the second one coming in here. The trend line is pretty much it. There was your 61% retracement. We tried to rally. All we did was we matched the high of the day. Now we're backing off another dollar. So Crete Oil still looks like it wants to go to the downside. Now if we look at this on a daily basis, it's going to have a really interesting pattern coming in right here. Now there was the high. But you've got to watch this one because you can see the ABCD pattern right here. If you take your last low right here and make the ABCD pattern, ABCD is going to take you to the 382, which is going to be, wow, we hit it yesterday. I didn't even realize that. Son of a gun. Well, that was a time when I lost data. Anyway, this is really an important low. So let's look at this again on the hourly. And there's where we are. This is the important low that I'm talking about. Watch this one very, very closely. And especially if it comes down and makes a slightly lower low here at the 78.6, at 77.20. That's only seven, 500 bucks from where it is right now. So that's going to be a really key level to look at, just like the 61% level. Went up and made a new high. This one could come down here, shake out these stops, and then move to the upside. Below here. You don't want to have anything to do with it because that means you're going to be making a larger ABCD to the downside. Well, folks, we'll see you tomorrow with Bob Miner as our guest. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.